Welcome to The Liberating Secret with your host, author and teacher, Sylvia Pierce. The Liberating Secret is dedicated to revealing the mystery of the gospel, which is Christ in you, the only hope of glory. Let's join Sylvia Pierce for today's lesson. Welcome to The Liberating Secret. My name is Sylvia Pierce. And I'm so glad and privileged to be with you today. And I want to bring to you my wonderful, wonderful son-in-law, Paul Chapman. So I'm just happy to be with you today, Paul. Thank you, Sylvia. I think we've got a lot to say because we're constantly looking over the truths. Uh, and, of course, the liberating secret is about bringing liberation to the body of Christ. I, we feel like that uh, the body of Christ is pretty bound up, stuck in a lot of places. And I've been stuck in a lot of places, and the Holy Spirit has, has shown, given me wisdom on, you know, how to, how to walk this life out. That's what we need to know. I mean, Christians, I mean, we talk about um, how we have Christ living in us, and that, that is true. The real truth is you, your spirit is joined with his spirit. If you belong to Christ, that is the truth. And, uh, and you are one with him. Now, that's spirit truth, but we live in a fleshly body, don't we? Right. We're going to have our human reactions every day. We are going to have our human reactions every day. That's exactly right. It's like one day you like your job, the next day you think you're at war yeah. with, your, with your job. Right. And it's how to balance that out. Well, I think, first of all, we need to talk about the difference between our soul and mm -hmm. our spirit. What, mm -hmm. and because the human really is tripartite. Right. And I don't like to, um, I think that's a little crude picture of the human being, but that's how the Bible describes us. Mm -hmm. It says that the God of the Lord Jesus Christ sanctify you wholly, spirit, soul, and body. And preserve you to the coming of the Lord is what the Bible says. So it does divide us up into a, we're spirit, and that's where we're joined to the Lord as Christians. Right. And but we have a soul, Correct. which is where that's where we have our thinking and our feelings and our human reactions, and of course, in our body expresses our soul feelings. Right. So, um, uh, but if we don't know the difference, we get pretty confused. Right. We get pretty confused. And so first we have to know the difference, and then God puts that all back together because I'm meant to operate as, a, as one. I'm not, op I'm not meant to just divide myself up every day or all the time. I'm meant to really operate as one. Right. Well, how is it that the Christian, that we are joined in union with Christ and that we have a spirit life that has promised the forgiveness of our sins, washed our sins clean in our past, and also made us clean for a for everlasting life that's in Christ. But in the now moment, when we have what appears to be maybe our soul reaction, I'm not really the love that Christ has called me to be, but right now, whether whatever the task is that's in front of me, whether it's dealing with family issues or work issues, that I'm not living up to being a Christian. Why is that? Or you think you are. I, I, I think I'm not. Right, because <laughs> we're talking go. about soul level. Uh -huh. You're talking about what you think about yourself, right. really. When Christ, has, Christ is love. Right. <laughs> when Christ is peace. Mm -hmm. And yet, on this soul body level, I'm not manifesting that right now. Well, in it's, it's in your feelings. All mm -hmm. right. I always say this to every Christian. Give your humanity a break. Right. <laughs> now, what does that mean? It means that you're going to have soul feelings, reactive feelings that aren't, that don't line up, that don't look like the love that's in you. Right. When you know that this is something that you want, mm -hmm. when you want your marriage to work out mm -hmm. or things in your job to yes. work smoothly, but right now it, it appears like there's warfare on this uh -huh. level. Well, and, there <laughs> and there is opposition at times, but how to bring that back into what we know in Christ mm -hmm. and how to have Him be the, or how, to, how does faith work 
to bring about the peace, the joy, the love, when by all appearances right now, things aren't peace, love, love and, joy. and joy. It's like, because, I'm, and usually what happens is I stumble and I find myself going to war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is how I, because it's a resentment that I have. And I, I say, well, why don't you just simply follow what I've told you to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it doesn't work out that way because the other person's in a different place. And so I'm putting pressure once again on the soul body level to come about into what I, what I would think is what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. But that ultimately, it's like through the love of Christ in me, this is going to happen by faith mm -hmm. because faith operates, is operated by love. Mm -hmm. But I want the reaction. I want the I, I want that now. I you want to, what, what you're want talking about, you want to control the manifested, right. the way it comes out. Yes. And that's not ever going to happen. Because right. you're not in control, right. really. And I'm not fussing at him because this is just how we all think. We right. all want to control that. Right. What we really want to control is, I don't want to suffer. Yep. And so I don't want to have pain. So mm -hmm. if I'm nice all the time and I treat everybody else nice, then yes. everything will be nice and I won't suffer. It's right. really back to uh, saving myself, saving myself from any kind of pain, right. saving myself from it, from my soul reactions that I don't like. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you see, you can't live that way, and I, I can't either. Paul and I pretty much are alike in that realm, personally, humanly, yeah. because as a, as, as a person growing up, you know, I was taught at an early age to stuff my feelings. I mean, there's right. no way that I could let go of what I really thought with my mother, who was very controlling and would never, you know, I was smacked around. I was never, you could right. never talk about how you felt about anything. And so I learned how to stuff all that. Right. Well, then when I married my husband, he was a dictator. I mean, I loved him and we loved each other. We still do after 51 years. So mm -hmm. we made it through. But in the beginning, I, he was free to be himself. And I thought, how can he do that? I'm not. I'm, I'm not free to be myself. Right. I didn't know how to be myself. All I know, knew how to do is keep the peace. So right. how was I going to do that? Make him okay? Really, I always think that seems so nice that women are just trying to make everybody okay. We're trying to make our children okay. We're trying to make our husbands okay. And really, we're not okay by trying to make everybody else okay. And they're not okay, really. Right. And, and really, it comes back to I'm just trying to keep myself. <laughs> uh, it really comes back to I'm trying to preserve myself from any kind of pain is what it comes back Correct. to. It's a self thing that I have to get over. Right. You see, it's not about preserving your feelings and your thoughts from this world. No. Because God has put you into this world. Now, we're not of the world, but we're certainly in the world. Correct. And he has put us right in the middle of every kind of problem there can be. Right. Why? Because really, the person that who we really are is Christ. Yes, we're meant to have these reactions. And, I, and when I finally got free enough to react and think, say what I thought, I was way over the top. Why? I think because basically I've been bound up all my life. Right, on, the, on your soul level. Yes. And your thinking and your feeling. Emotions. Yes. And that's who you thought you were. Yes. Because, well, once, because they were shunned as either being good, mm -hmm. what I mean, bad. Right. Or they were said, that's, that's good. But really, it's just, it's just the soul level. It's not <laughs> our spirit level not. of who we are joining that's, to Christ. That's it. When we're born again as that's Christians. Right. So, but as long as we think that we're our human reaction, yes. our thinking and our feelings, yes. then that's where we'll take our identity, our, our identity from number one, yes. and we'll say that the fallen world that we live in, that we've been put into, mm -hmm. is is reality, mm -hmm. and we sort of like wonder, like, well, where is the spirit reality? Right. Because we're taking our identity on from our problems that appear to us yeah, on this level, yes, we whether, are. whether they're on a thinking level or on a feeling level. Yes. As these problems come to us, if we try and process them, <coughs> <coughs> on a soul level, we'll never get the victory. No, you know why? Um, Basically, we're trying to control <coughs> it. We're trying to be the Lord of our life, right. really. 
we're trying to be the Lord of manifestation and what right. we manifest. We're trying to be the Lord. See, it's still we're still operating as if we're separate from Christ. Right. The real truth is we are joined to Christ as Christians, right. but we're still functioning as if we're separate, just solely, fleshly thinking people. Correct. So God had to get me totally out of control, <laughs> you know, because I started right. saying what I thought and what I felt, but then I got out of control. Right. And I started breaking down because I started was being condemned about myself all the time. So that didn't work either. But right. he got me out of control to show me that's not, you're not really your soul, your feelings. I mean, that's wonderful <coughs> part about yourself, but that's not who you really are. Right. You really are spirit joined to me. Now, when I knew that I was spirit joined to him, then, I, then the Holy Spirit controls Right. The, my flesh level. So he lets me be free. Right. He's the one in control, not yeah. me trying to yeah. figure it out, have an agenda, how to be. Now, this is how I'm going to be today. Yeah, Jesus <laughs> isn't bound by our spirit, I mean, our soul level reactions. No, he's not. He's not bound by that. No. It, well, it says in the, in the Bible where he's been given authority over all flesh. Yes, he has. So that means <coughs> not only our thinking reacts, Excuse me. <coughs> okay, that's okay. It's not because, okay, he has control over all flesh. That's what you just said. Mm -hmm. Okay, then he has to have control over my flesh. Right. Because I can't control it. He, he, he's saying, oh, good, <sighs> Sylvia, I'm glad you finally figured that out. Right. You finally figured it out that you can't control it. So I let it get out of control. <coughs> I mean for you to get out of control so that you can finally find out I'm your Lord and your Master. Right. And I will manifest myself in spite of you, right. not in spite of you, yeah. but through you, because of you, really. Yeah, even yeah. when this physical body is breaking down yes. like right now. Right. And I, and I lose the power of speech. Yes. Or it looks like, you know, the body is weak. Yes. Does, it, does that mean that Christ is still not on the job? Yes, he's on the job. He's, he's on, on the, the job. job. Spirit is not bound. That's exactly right. Spirit doesn't have a problem using our human reactions. That's right. Whether it's our thinking reactions or our feeling soul yes. reactions. Right, right. To bring about himself into the situation yes. that we're dealing with. Yes. Because as soon as we cut ourselves off on our soul levels, we begin to think that God is not with us. Yes, we do. That where is our God? Right. And this is what the world will say to us, too. Mm -hmm. Where is our God? Right. I mean, so we've got accusation coming from all over. <laughs> so what's and, the answer? Okay, yeah. I had a friend call me today, and um, she, she really is a great spirit woman, a wonderful woman, lives in western Kentucky. And her um, daughter, who is just really coming into spirit reality, never been afraid in her life. Now she's afraid about everything. And the first thing I said, I said, well, Brenda, really and truly, all these soul reactions that we have, it's always an opportunity for faith. Mm -hmm. It's always an opportunity to say, okay, God, what are you going to do about it? And the, and, 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 which is true. But even before I come to that reality i've got to realize it's okay for me yeah. to feel fear it's yeah. okay see we have this idea that we're supposed to our our soul our body our humanity yeah. is supposed to line up in such a way that we're placid we're nice every minute right. we're not we're not having any we're not angry we're not you know we have these feelings that we're just supposed to be good all the time whatever we think that is and we're trying to manifest it we apart from god are trying to be good Really, right. that's the sin of the that's, Christian. That's, the, that's yeah. the sin of the Christian, is that we're trying to be good. Well, what's the answer? The answer is, I'm going to accept my humanity for what I am. I'm going to be myself. I don't mm -hmm. even know what that's going to look like. I don't know, but I'm just going to end the moment because I don't have my past anymore. I'm not dragging it around right. as b baggage from the past. I really don't know about tomorrow. I don't know about the next hour. So I'm going to live now, and I'm going to, I'm going to, and I'm believing this is Christ living now, and He's going to use my, He's going to use my soul. Yes. He's going to rightly use my soul. So I mean, one minute He was angry about things, the next minute He wasn't, and one minute, you know, He was letting people have it, and the next yes. minute He was nice. 
So he never knew what he was going to manifest either, you see. But, but what we say is, Christ is in me. So, Lord, here, have at it. Right. Here I am. I'm going to be myself. <clears throat> And I might go over the top. I might, you know, uh, you know, I might even, I might even sin. I don't know. But I'm not going to call anything sin, unless it's obvious. Unless I'm going right. out and having adultery or doing some kind of overt thing. I, I have to call that what it is. Mm -hmm. But I mean, my human reactions. I'm not going to call them sin, because I used to, and I used to be condemned right. about them. So I got <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to be free to be me. You mean Jesus has come back? To live in me, so that and I can just be free to be me. Wow, what a gospel! Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> that that is great. Now, yeah. so Paul, there's things that you will like and things that you won't like. Right. If I just think that I'm my reactions, then right. I've missed the whole point. Right. I've missed the whole point of Christ. Yes, because of your reactions. Because of my reaction. No. My reactions are meant to be. Right. They are. They are meant to be, but it's. What do I do with them? That's it. And when I take them to my Lord, yes. then he's been made unto me, it says, power and wisdom. Yes. So he will use these yes. reactions yes. to come back through and manifest his love, his faith, his yes. peace, his joy. Really, our <coughs> humanity is everything that God isn't. It's the opposite. So I'm weak. Right. And his strength comes through, my, through that weakness. You right. see, I'm meant to be weak. So I'm not trying to make myself strong. Right. I'm accepting the fact that, you know, humanly, I'm weak about things. Right. Or my mind is weak. I don't know. I mean, I'm getting right. older now. I'm forgetting things, and sometimes I forget in the middle of a sentence or something. Okay, if you accept yourself, then you're not trying to improve that self anymore. Right. You're not trying to be any better. You're not trying to be any worse. You're just being. You see, mm -hmm. you're moving from trying to figure it out and doing and having an agenda for how you're going to be to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have a clue. I don't know what I know. I don't know. Because I'm living in spirit. I'm just being myself. That's, yeah, and that's, just being yourself, God will use that precious self to manifest himself through. And right. we think, well, gosh, I don't think that's precious all the time. Well, I might not think it's precious all the time, but it is. It is. Because <laughs> it talks about that in Galatians 2 and 20, where the, the life that I now live. Yes. I live because of Christ coming back to save me because he loved me. Yes. And it's just, it's, it's a miracle when, we th when I look at my flesh when it fails, when I'm weak. I remember that even on this level, he came. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he came so that I might have life. And he loved me mm -hmm. even in my current state. Mm -hmm. Do you know why we suffer when we see those things? Because all of our life we've had hope in ourselves. Mm -hmm. We've had hope that we would be better, that we would look better, that we, people would like us better. Mm -hmm. That oh, uh, You yeah. see, we've had hope in ourselves. So we suffer when we don't see it. Well, the real truth is we were never to have hope in ourselves. Right. See, when you get used to not having hope in yourself, but your only hope is Christ in you, you see, right. the only hope of glory, the only hope of walking this life out, you see, then you, you, you accept yourself, and you're not depressed when you right. don't line up, and you're not expecting yourself to line up. You're just being, you see. You're not right. impressed with yourself when you do good. You're not depressed with yourself when you don't do good, you see, when you're weak. Okay, I'm meant to be that way. Okay, I don't know. I didn't know what we were going to talk about today. Okay, I don't know, so I accept that. I'm not going around trying to figure it out. I just, I don't know, I just wait on the Spirit, see what He says through, through us. And this is what He means to bring to the body of Christ today. So this is it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Be happy Amen. with it. Rejoice with the Lord in this moment because He is pleased to live in your humanity. Yes, we're still fallen. We're not, we're still, uh, temp we're still living in a temporal body mm -hmm. that gets sick. We have to accept that. Mm -hmm. We have to accept the, the uh, it's not, it's not uh, resurrected, uh, glorified body yet. It's not. Neither mm -hmm. other people. And you know what? Pretty much you'll marry your opposite. She's not going to think like you. You're mm -hmm. not going to think like her. Dad and <clears throat> I, Scott and I, and I, we've always called each other mom and dad. We're a mom and pop ministry, really. Uh -huh. <laughs> we, don't, we don't pretend to be anything different. 
Okay, then uh, he is totally opposite of me, and I'm totally opposite of him. So, I mean, we could spend the rest of our days trying to control each other and trying to get, I'm trying to get him to line up with how I think, or he's trying to get me to line And we could, I mean, we've done that. We've been there, done that. We yeah. got the T-shirt on that one. Yeah. It doesn't work. So we have to accept each other. For the, if I have to accept myself, I have to accept my husband. And somehow then God works it all out. Then we right. leave it up to God. Right. We accept the, the limit of our human humanity yes. and we take it to the spirit yes. of god yes and we by faith yes. because in the situation we are really being love for that other person even if the situation is like uh we might have a negative reaction yeah. to what we're thinking or feeling about the other person right, right now because sometimes there does need to be changes there made does need yes sir. on this on this level that's right but because we are vested there in that situation, we're committed to that situation through either some vows that we've taken yeah. or through uh, obligations that we have for, um, you know, in our community, mm -hmm. at our job, wherever we work. I mean, we still stand up mm -hmm. as uh, people of God. Yes. But we now allow our Lord to use yes. these human weaknesses yes whether they be in us or in the other person, right. to bring about the uh, healing for the situation, yeah. for to bring about a new uh, way through the situation. Yeah. So we don't live an encapsulated life like just on Sundays at church, but rather Christ is on the secular level, working in our marriages, That's right. working in our businesses, right. working through any, um, even like a, a something that we enjoy, something that we like to do. Mm -hmm. It's Christ on a secular form That's right. showing us the way through that, overcoming the difficulties, whether you're, whether I'm learning how to master something new mm -hmm. on this level or um, just even simply reading. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> it's, That's just, right. it's just that simple. Christ is there and he's showing us how that we're not just... Uh, we're not just spirit people, but we're also... We're not spirit. like monks that sit around yeah. and just go, mm, or something yes. all the time, or we pray have, every minute. It's very practical how, our, how our faith goes yes. from the invisible to the visible, That's right. working out our problems. That's right. That's right. Because we're spirit people That's right. first. In human, it's God yeah. walking in human bodies and flesh and right. blood, walking inside of us. Okay. So, but the reality, so, but I, do I feel that all the time? No. No. I don't feel that <laughs> all the hidden. time. It's <laughs> hidden. It's a hidden reality. Yes. And it says that we're hidden in Christ, and yes. he's hidden in God, too. Yeah. So it, it's a hidden reality that's inside of us. And does it come out? Does it come out of the cracks? Yeah. You better mm -hmm. believe it. Yeah, it does. Humble. Yes. Meekness. You know why? Because we don't have things figured out. Right. We don't have yeah. some big, broad plan and big, broad agenda, that, w and we're not in... We're not in control because God is. Right. Wow. So yeah. that leave, that <clears throat> makes us pretty vulnerable. But I don't have pride about that. I just will tell anybody, <laughs> you know. Right. You see, so it leaves us humble before the Lord and trust and faith in Him. Yeah. So I don't, have in, I don't have a doctrine to hold on to. I mean, I know our favorite verse that we always quote is Galatians 2.20, that I'm crucified with Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, nevertheless, I live. But see, I live. I'm still alive. But it's not me living, it's really Christ living in this common human form. Yeah. Wow. And the life I live in the flesh, I'm still living in human flesh, and it's fallen right, right now. That's for sure. It's fallen, okay. <laughs> I live by the faith of the Son of God. I don't even live by my own faith. Right. I'm living by the life and the uh, faith and the substance of, mm -hmm. of another realm. That's what I'm living from. Right. Now, does it show up? You better believe it. But when I'm not even thinking... When I'm not trying to master my reaction, correct. I'm just going to be myself and then just let the chips fall where they will and see how God works it all out. I mean, people will say, oh, my gosh, what I see in you, mm -hmm. something so great. Yeah. What? You know, like, what? I don't even yeah. know what you're talking about. Right. You know, or they say, oh, I got, you know what you said yesterday? And I said, what? I don't yeah. even, I don't even remember. Why? Because the Spirit is just naturally moving through me supernaturally, but it's natural supernatural. So right. I'm just being a natural person, doing my natural things, 
That's why I don't have to be on some kind of pe pet ministry pedestal. Right. No, I'm doing the common things like everybody else does, you know, yes. and working hard like everybody else works hard. That's the way it should be in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. It should not, we shouldn't have special people. No, I don't believe in that. None of us are, we're all special. It's not, don't divide up special and non-special. We're all special, you right. know. And one time I was talking to somebody and we were saying all this great spiritual stuff. And then my husband came in the back door and I knew he wanted me to fix him lunch. And my friend on the other end of the line said, well, well just go minister to him. And I went, ding, I'm ministering by doing that, right. by going and fixing him lunch, by being for him, by, you know, doing the normal things that I do. See, Jesus wants to be normal. Yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he hang out with the normal people? He didn't even hang out with the religious people. He hung out with the normal, but really the sinners. Yeah. Well, he says, I came for the sinners. I didn't come for people that thought they're well when they're not. Right. Jesus <laughs> wants to live a secular life. He, he wants he to does. live a he normal secular life. Express right. through his people wherever they are. That's right. That yeah. is right. I find that just amazing. It is because amazing. Because I used to think, well, it's like a being involved, well, a religion you know was meant like on Sundays and at church and we sing and we praise God that's fine and good and I enjoy that but Christ ultimately he he spent most of his time though on a secular mm -hmm. level hanging out with everyday common people mm -hmm. and that's what excites me about knowing Christ is because even though I might struggle in my humanity to understand the highs and the lows of it and as I smooth and learn how to smooth those reactions out whatever they are my true lord and savior is jesus christ in on a spirit level but he's come again to manifest through the negative reactions yes, even that yes even that to to make himself known and whether it's just to myself or to other people around right. me right. that's kind of because at first it has to kind of work out in me right. but then it begins to work out in my marriage, in any yes. any occupation that I would endeavor in. And you know, and Paul, I find this it's just amazing. Well, know? Paul, uh, in my worst behavior, the Lord forced me to say that I was really Christ living in Sylvia form. Wow, the worst, my worst kind of behavior. Why did He do that? Because He mm. was saying no. Yeah. Uh, uh I got your back, yeah. and I'm in you. Uh, and and I, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm in you, <clears throat> and I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it all. Right. You, you'll make a mess along the way, but I'll take care mm -hmm. of it. I got your back. <laughs> so go. isn't that great? Yeah, because otherwise I just stay stuck in a neutral position That's all the right. time, <laughs> and I worry about the reactions and the overreactions. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, it's just... And we only do that because we think we should be better. Mm -hmm. Or we should try harder. Right. Or we, we're having hope in our humanity to rise up and be something greater. No, get mm -hmm. over yourself. <laughs> First of all, we've got to give our humanity a break. And then finally, we have to get over ourselves. It's not about me. It's about Jesus coming again in human form, in my human, weak, human form, and us being happy with that. So, gosh, I see our time's over. Thank you so much for joining us, and I know you've appreciated this because this is true. This is real life. This is how it works out. So thank you for joining us, and come and visit us at on our website and also at our, our annual May meeting. It's the May 17th through the 20th this year. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.